Okay, so whenever I need kind of like some inspiration, I go to Pinterest now, and it gives me some amazing art. So I'm looking at this one right here, but the one thing about Pinterest and graphic design is that when you click on a picture, they show you more pictures and stuff like that. This is a Roman picture, you know, like a Roman glitch picture, whatnot, with Japanese text and stuff like that, and it's purple and all that stuff. They're bringing up images that are just like that. So we have this Jesus right here. Uh, he's on a cross purple kind of green and stuff like that we have i think that might be poseidon fighting like a horse i'm not 100 percent sure but it has like the golden ratio around it it's kind of just matching pictures that would go together in a sense you know so we have this picture right here which is amazing to me i'm not sure what roman greek god this might be but it's using this shape right here to make like a moon to cast over on his face and it's giving that overprint look that i kind of emulated like last month or not so the text is kind of overprinted and stuff like that it looks like it's glitching that's just overprint all the way so um and then oh my god look at this you guys go to pinterest and just find you guys something because i feel like pinterest is amazing and you might be able to get some nice inspiration from there So me and my child's mother, we've been going almost everywhere. We go to the mall a lot and we just look around to find little things that we can add to our child's life and stuff like that because he will be here pretty soon, right? And as we were walking around, I started noticing that there's a lot of fashion editorials out there in the form of like advertisements. And I was sitting here thinking, there's a lot of times where you guys are just going towards the Instagram and the Facebook and stuff like that. But how often do you guys actually make like billboards, posters, flyers and stuff like that? Especially when I know a lot of you guys are thinking that you can sell to children and children are technically in school at this point in time. Not saying that they're not on Instagram and all that, but they get a whole lot of high volume ads from Instagram and Facebook. Why don't we just put the Instagram and Facebook down for a second? I mean, don't stop it because you need content on your Instagram, but kind of like smooth yourself back, get into something like a poster, get into something like a flyer, and then use that media as a way to bring them back into like your social media and then pretty much get a purchase from that, right? So I flip through a magazine like almost all the time. As a matter of fact, I got one right here. And in this magazine, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. This fashion editorial is not really good fashion editorial. It's kind of like basic stuff. Like this is an editorial. It's pretty cool, I guess. You know, it has like a picture and then a whole bunch of text and stuff like that. Pretty basic layout. But these are just things that I kind of look at. And when I look at this type of stuff, I'm like, wow, like maybe I should start putting like fashion editorials out there more. So that's why I started doing like this little series or whatnot where I was doing Instagram and now I'm doing kind of like, you know, some stuff that you can do in real life. You can even make like a poster with this. And this is something that I just want to show you guys a little bit more of because even though Instagram and Facebook is amazing, like these are amazing tools. Don't stop the content. You might want to start looking at different things you want to start going to where the kids are at you know maybe you're at like spoken word i used to work in spoken word so i know that there's always a magazine or there's some type of like article being passed around through that thing why not have like an editorial just waiting on the table for somebody go towards where the people are at stop going to instagram and facebook not saying you need to stop doing instagram and facebook but stop going towards instagram and facebook start looking into other things you guys but today i want to show you guys something in photoshop that's gonna help you guys out like i like to help save people businesses and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and get into that now okay so what we want to do is start a new document so i'm gonna just go over here and type in 16 by 24 which is roughly like an 8 by 11 except with a little extra space um i really wanted to do it like this because it's gonna fit the actual poster billboard that i'm trying to create this for so i'm just gonna put this in at 16 by 24 and then we're gonna hit 16 bit which is pretty much what I always use and I'm gonna go ahead and hit create so it's already in black and I think I like the way that this looks I do however want to add some borders to it so I'm just gonna add like a few margins a half inch margin on each side and a border in the gutter so like a half inch there and then a half inch up here as well now on a new layer I want to just go ahead and put in like my text real quick so I'm gonna just click in I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a white text and I just want to type out the word smile now, of course, this is too small, so I'm just going to go ahead and scale it up. As a matter of fact, I might just go ahead and hold down Alter Option just to get like a double and just do something a little bit like this, which looks pretty cool, right? Then I just want to go ahead and type out a period real quick. 
and we'll move that over here off to the sides and then also give it kind of like this look here just got to make sure that it's lined up correctly and that looks pretty good there so what i want to do on my layers panel is just put all this into one layer and then hit command g um, and we'll just call this smile so the next thing I want to do is just put my image in the background. So I'm just going to go up under this, make a new layer real quick. I'm going to turn this layer into a smart object. And then I want to put a black and white layer on top of it and just clip it to it. And that's just going to turn whatever object I drop into this layer into a black and white. So now that I have that, I just want to go ahead and put these two into one group and just close that down. And we can name this picture. So I'm going to go into this layer. I'm going to double click and it's going to open up a new layer for me. So it's going to open up a new document. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. As you can see, all the rulers and guides kind of like followed over. I'm just going to drop in my document image right here. So you guys, this is one of my mockups that I've created. This is from the House of Dutra. So if you guys want the House of Dutra, it will be included into the description box below. And you guys can have all of that collection mockup and the editorial design, which is all included into one pack that you can download from off of here so it'll be ready for you guys whenever you want it so i'm just going to go ahead and double click into this design real quick hit okay and then drop in my design so now that we have this i'm just going to go ahead and hit command s to save it out and i'm just going to close this down so now that that's done i want to do is just go back into this other layer go into file place linked go into my desktop and actually get that out so so this is eduardo from unsplash i'm gonna go into the loyal house of dutra and i'm just gonna find that real quick which i think it might be this one right here i'm just gonna go ahead and hit place and in doing that, I can just now place this and save this out. And that's going to translate over onto the other document. Now, if I close this down, here it is over here looking like this. And this is pretty cool, right? What I can do with this is I'm going to just take the transform tool by hitting command T and just scale this down some. So I'm going to scale it down like this much right here, right? Now, the smiley is actually overlapping what we need to be seen, which is the actual T-shirt. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna hold down command and I'm gonna click on that layer, right? And then I'm gonna go into the layer mask to put a layer mask up. Now, all that is doing is just making sure that the box is constrained. Like, we don't go outside of the constraints of this box, right? If I unlink it by hitting this link right here, everything inside of the box is now free form. So, if I move this picture outside of the box, the box is not moving, but the picture is, right? That's what we really want. So I'm going to take this picture now. I'm going to hit command T and I'm just going to scale it up some. And with doing that, I could just move down this smiley to like maybe right here. Okay, so this is looking really good. I like the way this looks. I just want to add just a few more things to it. So I'm just going to take the type tool and more down here in the gutter. I'm just going to go ahead and type out St. Louis, Missouri. And that looks pretty good, except I want to make sure that the kerning is different on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight St. Louis, hold down Alt to Option, and just kind of push that out some. So we get more of that kind of like stretched out look. And also, I don't want to use bold. I want to use like Futura Medium. So it's a little bit more skinnier. And we can do the exact same thing for Missouri. And I still kind of feel like the text is just a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them, hit T, and I want this to come down to like maybe... 24 point which looks pretty good so i'm gonna just go ahead and take the st louis and i'm gonna bring that down some and just to make sure that this design element doesn't look like it's lost or anything like that i'm just gonna go ahead and use the rectangle shape tool to just go ahead and make maybe like a line that goes halfway through this design so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure that i have the strokes off but the feel on and I want the feel to be a white and that looks good but I want to make sure that this is all lined up correctly so I'm going to take this line I'm just going to bring it down some maybe right here and then with all of this I'm just going to go ahead and put it into one layer hit command G and we'll call this St. Louis okay so this looks pretty cool but I want to bring in like some Japanese text and stuff like that so if you guys don't know how to type in kanji on your computers or anything like that just use Google if you type in English to Japanese, you get this right here. So we'll just type in something like wear your smile today. You can hit this switch button just to make sure that it translate into what it needs to. I will wear your smile today, which is not what we're looking for. And that's kind of creepy. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that out. We're going to type in don't forget to smile. And then if we hit this switch button, we'll just make sure that it's uh translating pretty well so it says please do not forget your smile and if we do it again don't forget your smile it doesn't look like it's deviating from this point so i can just go ahead and highlight all of this side hit command c and just bring that back over into photoshop so i'm just going to click somewhere hit command v to paste that all out and that's exactly where i want that to go at the top so if i put it like right here in the middle it might stick 
But just to make sure that it's gonna stick, I wanna bring up the rulers and make sure that all of this is in the right spot. Now, I wanna put my starting year at the bottom of this. Like, I feel like the, the year of wherever I started is pretty good, so I wanna put 2014. We can actually make that a little bit taller, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that into like a 48. Then also holding Alter Option, I just wanna go ahead and make sure that this stretches out to that E. I wanna take the type tool and just draw out a box down here, making sure that it stays within this little constraint right here. And inside of this box, I wanna paste in lorem ipsum, which is this dummy text. So I'm gonna go into type, down to paste lorem ipsum, and that'll be okay right there. As a matter of fact, I wanna make sure that it's bold and that it's kind of like fitting as well. So it's not too condensed that it's not over there choking itself to death or anything, but it's also in proportion and it's not just straggling along and all that. I think this looks good right here. So that looks pretty good right there. I just kind of manipulated it out. I made sure that it was 16 point so I can get the rest of that text in. And then I made sure that this logo and this text right here would actually work together. As a matter of fact, I don't think that this text here would work together. So we just put 2018 instead because if there's gonna be text and people are gonna read this, then people will wanna know that this is 2018. This is the current version of it, right? Now at the top, I just wanna put the issue numbers. So I'm just gonna hit N and then I'm gonna hit number one. And I'm gonna put that one at like 60 and just put that up like this. We'll make this in medium instead of bold. And then we'll put everything into one layer, right? So we'll just group all of this together in the layers panel. Now up under all of this, I just wanna go ahead and type in smile out like I normally would. So it'll be smile out. I want that to stretch as far as it can out to maybe like right here. And then we can do the repeater in the back. Now it doesn't look too good right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command T, right? First, I wanna make sure that it's lining up proportionally right with this S, these double S's. And then I just wanna take the bottom and I wanna bring it out like this. So it goes up like that. And then I can bring it out to where the, you can see smile out first. So people know that that's what that says behind it. And I wanna bring it over so it's a little bit like this. So that looks good there. And I'm gonna hit the check mark so it just, falls into place right there and i think that looks pretty good as a matter of fact i might just bring it up some more and then i can also just bring up this japanese text just a little bit more too i think that looks good there and that's pretty much it so that's pretty much like a basic layout you guys you can do this as a matter of fact i might make this into a template so if you guys want to download that that will be in the description box below so you guys can get that as well i might even bundle it up with the house of dutra because i'm using the house of dutra stuff in it so you guys can get that if you want it but with that being said you guys that's all i have for you today so i hope you guys learned something if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe because hey i'm back doing this all the time i know i took a little time off but i needed that time off to get every Thing together that i got going on in my life you guys understand i have a kid on the way and there ain't no play play that's that's for real and me and the mother of my child we go out all the time and i see this type of stuff everywhere always it be in pharmacies it be at walmart it be in malls it be everywhere this type of stuff right here grabs people's attention so if you guys like this go ahead give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys the next time so stay amazing stay creative above all else and stay awesome Thank you.